Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to use the Sticky Points Deformer uh, OTL for Houdini. Um, first of all, this tool is available on Orbolt, um, and let's see what it does. Basically, the Sticky Points Deformer is a sort of Maya wrap deformer, or a Houdini lattice, or a Houdini point deform, uh, based on a very uh, efficient uh, math and uh, and uh, also written index, so it's very efficient, it's multi-thread and, and so on. Um, let's see the, the operator, is this one, and has three inputs. Uh, the first one is the geometry to deform, the second one is the rest geometry, and the third one is deform geometry. Uh, has, as I just said, the sticky points deformer is sort of a lattice or also Maya wrap deformer. So what it does is deforming, uh, calculating the new position of uh, points, so of points of the, of the geometry or also points in space, um, according to the comparison between a rest geometry and a deformed geometry. Um, so let's see the first example. So we have here a simple torus in the origin with uh, a tube and the tube has a twist. So if I hit play, I put some expressions just to animate in time during the, the frame range. And as you can see, there is very, this very simple deformation. So what I'm going to do now with the, the sticky points deformer is deforming the torus based on the motion, on the deformation of the tube by using the tube as reference geometry. So imagine just like a ring on a finger. So all the, that you need to do is to plug the torus as first input, so the geometry that you need to deform, the tube with no deformation as reference geometry, and the tube with the deformation, so the animated one, as deformed geometry. As you will see, let's put this in a template, as you can see now, if I hit play, the torus is deformed together with the, with the tube. Just to, to have another example, this time I'm going to activate this transform as here an expression to, to translate in space, and let's see what happens. So it follows not only the deformation on the but not only the deformation, but also the translation, so the, the transformations in space. Let's see another example. So in this example, we have a box and a sphere. And once again, the sphere is animated. So what I'm going to do here this time, let's disable this for now. What I'm going to do this time is apply the motion of the sphere on the box. So here we go. As you can see, the motion of the box is, is following the motion of the sphere. But what's, it, what's very interesting, let's put a transform on the box. And let's, for example, let's highlight the sphere. And let's move the box in space. Like, for example, here. If I hit play now, as you can see, the relative position of the box compared to the sphere is preserved. So you can use this tool also as a, a um, rivet. So once again, I can move this object and, uh, I don't know, scale a bit. And Okay, and once again, the relative, the relative position is preserved. As you can see, the parameters of the, of the sticky points deformers are really few parameters, and one of the parameters, the last one here, is to show the guide geometry. This way, we are displaying in viewport the two geometries that are actually deforming, uh, that are actually driving the deformations. So uh, we, we, we can see in blue the rest geometry, and in orange, the deformed geometry. Let's go to uh, the, the following example. 
So this is a very interesting use of, of this tool. So here we have a low-res geo and a high-res geo with a subdivide, so it's even more high-res. So just imagine that the low-res geometry has an animation. It's the low-res version of uh, our character with an animation. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any animation for this, but but just the translation is, is enough. Translation with some scale and rotation and so on. What I'm going to do now is, since the sticky points deformer can deform, can basically abbreviate any points on the surface of the reference geometry, of course, we can transfer, we can use it to transfer the high, the animation of the lowest model on the highest model. There we go. This works, for example, also if I blast. So I delete part of the geometry and I keep just one part. I can, again, transfer the animation to the one part. This is also very useful when the topology of our character is changed and we have an animation with the previous topology and we want to transfer the animation of the character with the old topology to the one with the new topology and so on. Let's go to the fourth example. So this is very interesting. So here we have a flip fluid simulation. It runs pretty good now. It's exactly how we want it. However, for some reason, we get asked to change the ground plane from this to this. So the ground is very different. And we should update the simulation as well. So we have two choices, two choices here since it doesn't line up anymore with the new with the new collision object so of course we can simulate again or we can use the sticky points deformer to update the position of the points based on the new geometry by comparing the old one with the new one and sticky points deformer will update the position of the points accordingly. What I'm doing here is, um, since here there is a natural create and attribute transfer, uh, nothing special. I'm just saying to do it just on the points that are very close to the surface. Otherwise, it will create um, unexpected results. So as we can see for, from the new geometry, works with the new with the new um, collision object so while the old one was this one working with with the old collider let's go on let's move, move on with another example so as I said and as I just demonstrated the sticky points deformer works also with the points rather than geometries. So keep in mind that you can use, for example, also with some points. So this is a torus with a scatter and uh, a blast, just to delete random points. This is another example of what you can do. So this is, for example, some, I don't know, some, some liquid that, or something that is uh, created on the shape of the torus that once again the torus could be wherever and what I'm going to do now is to transfer the deformation of the torus here so here we go Let's move to the following example, last one. 
this is a pure point deformation. So this time we have a scatter on a sphere, and once again a mountain, which with some expressions is just deforming the sphere, creating this animation. So once again, sphere in the original position and on the second input, mountain, so animation in the third input, and points to deform in the first input. Let's see what happens. There we go. The points are following the deformation. So let's show the guide geometry. You probably already noticed that there is another parameter here, add orient attribute. So it is possible with sticky points deformer to create a orient quaternion attribute. So it's a orientation information and let's see how it changes what happens here. So this is the points from the sticky points deformer. Here is a box and I'm using the copy to to instance the box on points. However, there is <coughs> sorry, there is no orientation information here. So with add orient attribute, that's what happens. So the the sticky points will check the normal of the, the closest face of the reference geometry and will create, and if the, the, the original point is a normal, as a normal, we'll check this normal as well and will create accordingly a new orient attribute that will follow that orientation. So let's visualize this attribute. Voila. As you can notice here, for example, this orient quaternion attribute created here will, will be very useful when you will use the copy sock, for example. Um, in case there is already a orient attribute, it will just update it without destroying it. Okay, and these are just a few possible ways to use this deformer, but really can be a really, really useful tool for many other uh, scenarios. So it would be very good for, for a lot of, of things. Um, once again, you, you can download it on Arbolt. Uh, so just, just search for sticky points deformer. Thank you.